Hillary Clinton's alien email. From WikiLeaks' latest release, now known as the Podesta Files. Email for John Podesta C. O. Aaron Re. Space Treaty, attached. Dear John, because the war in space race is heating up, I felt you should be aware of several factors as you and I schedule our Skype talk. Remember, our nonviolent ETI from the contiguous universe are helping us bring zero point energy to Earth. They will not tolerate any forms of military violence on Earth or in space. The following information in italics was shared with me by my colleague Carol Rosen, who worked closely for several years with Werner von Braun before his death. Carol and I have worked on the Treaty on the Prevention of the Placement of Weapons in Outer Space, attached for your convenience. New Great News. Federal Minister for Planning, Development and Reforms Asan Iqbal proposed cooperation in space technology between Pakistan and China as part of the historic declaration, saying it will take the Pak-China relations to new heights. A consortium of 35 Chinese companies was also formed that will invest in Pakistan. Pakistan and China on Wednesday signed 20 memoranda of understanding worth. The cosmic consequences of space weapons, why they must be banned to preserve our future. War in space. War in space isn't considered fiction anymore. Preparing for war in space. Satellite missiles and international tensions. See US, China and Russia preparing for war in space. War in space may be closer than ever. China, Russia and the US are developing and testing controversial new capabilities to wage war in space despite the denial of such work. World War III in space. Fears over rise in anti-satellite weapons created by Russia. A huge rise in anti-satellite weapons being developed by world powers has sparked fears the West could soon be embroiled in a fully-fledged war with Russia and China in outer space. War in space isn't considered fantasy anymore. We're arguably closer than ever to war in space. Most satellites orbiting Earth belong to the US, China and Russia. And recent tests of anti-satellite weapons don't exactly ease the scare factor. It sounds like science fiction, but the potential for real-life Star Wars is real enough. It's just not new. Fears of battles in space go back to the Cold War and several initiatives, like President Reagan's Star Wars missile defense system. Deputy Defense Secretary Robert Work spoke to Congress in June about the threat. He said during a speech the technology the U.S. developed during the Cold War allows it to project more power, more precisely, more swiftly, at less cost. Take a moment to think about everything satellites do. GPS, surveillance and communications all depend on them. And the Scientific American notes you can disable satellites without missiles. Simply spray painting lenses of breaking antennas is enough. President Obama requested $5 billion for space defense in the 2016 fiscal budget. And a former Air Force officer told the Scientific American most of the United States' capabilities in space have been declassified to send a clear message, there are no rules for war in space. Best regards, Edgar Edgar D. Mitchell, SCD, Apollo 14 astronaut, 6th man.